Um, well, I'm a registered nurse. I'm a PhD student in philosophy. Uh, lover of women, lover of the Australian nation. I'm an actor. My age is 92. I have three younger sisters. I live in Bidwell, Western Sydney. And a mum and a dad. I'm a business analyst for News Limited. I'm currently a um, cinematographer in the film industry. I'm a failed stand-up comedian. <laughs> um, yeah. Who's the average Australian? Uh, some people think I'm kind of average, but I think I represent more the old Australia rather than the new Australia. Australian. The average Australian should be about over six feet tall for men. About five foot nine, five ten for women. They go to the pub, they drive Holdens. There's a stereotype. Knife wielding. I don't think many people are that average though. Blonde haired, blue eyed, white. Live in, you know, a house. That's, that, that's the average Australian you think <laughs> yeah, should be. Should what, be yeah. what, what is the actual average Australian? Well, a hodgepodge of weirdos, morons, degenerates. Pedophiles, murderers, drug takers, drug pushers. Kath and Kim on the telly. And multiculturalism has given, given us that. Um, you know, it, it is a very multicultural country. A lot of Filipinos, a lot of Chinese. Not like the 70s where it was very white. A lot of New Zealanders. My babysitter. That was my typical Aussie. <laughs> An introduction to the country, you know, she'd take me out of the shops and she'd say, oh, these blackies aren't mine, but I wish they were, you know, kind of thing. And if there was something on the ground, I'd pick it up. She said, don't touch that, a Chinaman would have touched it. Or she'd get me a biscuit and I'd say, thank you. And she'd say, oh, I'd do the same for a black fella. <laughs> you know, so that's, for me, is your typical Oka Aussie. Who's my babysitter? Probably half the reason I'm so messed up. <laughs> oh, classic. Is Australia a racist country? No. No? No. Don't know that one. Yeah, we're a racist country. Well, if Australia was a racist country, we would have, we would have, we would have had a white revolution here before. No, that, that hasn't happened yet. I don't know. I don't think we have a reputation. Actually, maybe we do have a reputation for being racist. My friend did remind me, or he, uh, he told me to look up Cronulla. Is that what it's called? Yeah, yeah, the riots. From my experience, no, I don't think it's a racist, racist place at, at all, actually. We've changed a um, lot since white Australia policy and the stolen generations, but it still exists. If they want to come and live in Australia, be Australian. We have to be willing to accept and they have to be willing to adapt. We did, like, kill all the Aboriginals. That's pretty racist. <laughs> That's not funny, sorry. Oh, Abbas, yeah. I... I'm, I'm very fond of the Abbas, I really... One Nation a few years ago in the election really banked on getting a high vote here and they were utterly disappointed we were below the nation's average. Mm. And, um, you know, the spin doctors finally worked out that it's because everyone has, has been forced to live together that we actually get along. And it's the places where racism is highest is where there's a real big separation between that's the black side of town, that's the yellow side of town, and that's the white side of town. Mm -hmm. yeah.